everyone. Welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode, we're going to be checking out a piece by the AI generative artist known as Ben Scott Pye. This episode, we're going to be talking about this kind of harsh texture here. We're going to talk about the novelty of creation, and we're also going to talk about OpenAI's Dolly 2. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this work, you're kind of met with two subjects really set on either side of a vertical center axis here. It certainly is quite a candid introduction. You know, we don't see any subjects directing their attention towards us. They're not looking at us, so it feels like we're kind of candid, we're kind of just looking on to the scene at hand and you know it's quite interesting right we have the placement of both subjects we have of course the feminine subject on the right and then we have this kind of ghostly subject wearing what appears to be a suit on the left here but the placement here certainly draws the eye we kind of bounce back and forth within the canvas and the composition so there is a bit of dynamism within the work at hand you're going to look at this the eye is likely going to start in the middle and then you're just going to go back and forth so it allows the kind of viewer to interact a bit deeper within the spatial composition you'll also notice how this smoke it's kind of mist or smoke that's emitting from our subject's mouth as well as what appears to be a smoke there really is the perfect neutral background for our form and contrast here so you see that right it is kind of a light on dark contrast although it is multiple variations because we have a much lighter background in this area and then a much darker background in this area so you have both a light on dark contrast and a dark on light contrast working within the form here so that certainly catches the eye it really pops out and you're not going to miss it so like i said we have two subjects here right we have this kind of feminine circus girl what appears to be and then we also have this kind of ghostly subject wearing a suit you know it's hard to say who or what this subject is but there's no doubt that the subject on the right is fully defined so we certainly see that you know you see her skin tone you see her clothes quite clearly but with our subject on the left there is this kind of hazy quality to there so with that in mind that in that inherently gives some weight to the subject on the right so the eye is going to be drawn there and any visual impact and any kind of symbolic impact is also going to be drawn towards that subject as well so all very important when we're looking at this work and so in the realm of texture you know the main thing we're going to be looking at here is this smoke right whenever you have smoke or mist within a composition it's almost always going to feel harsh of course smoke is going to feel a lot harsher but a mist is going to feel a lot lighter but within the work at hand we do see kind of a smoke she appears to be smoking right there so we could get that harsh texture as a result of that that also introduces a bit of visual energy within the work at hand of course we have these constant curves that are inherent to kind of the roiling wisp of smoke so the energy certainly invigorates the spatial composition with this really vivid visual energy so that also catches the eye for sure and there appears to be this kind of transfer of energy taking place as well right we talked about the subject being our main subject and she's a lot more defined than the one on the left so there is this feeling of this transfer of energy from the left region of the spatial composition into the right whether it's that sense of gravity and that weight that flows on the right side or whether it's the fully defined nature of our subject there's no doubt that there is this kind of fade into the right side as our subject kind of melts away so all very important when we're looking at this work and so the title of this work is i believe casually taken souls like you do and so i talked to the original artist and th this was actually a surprise so the artist was trying to make these kind of sultry circus girls seeing what the result of that would be in OpenAI's Dolly 2 and actually this is what he was given so we see this immense surprise here uh, he wasn't expecting these kind of taking souls effect but that's what we got and I think that's a real testament to the novelty of creation right there's always some type of surprise whether you're working with a vision that you originally had that ends up being slightly different or ends up being completely different there is a very new and a very novel experience within creation itself so we certainly see that here the artist was not expecting to get the scene before us but this is the result that we're looking at today so really nice kind of classy horror piece for sure and so our subject appears to be wearing this kind of circus attire certainly originally that reminded me of kind of a sailor outfit kind of old pinup stuff uh, we certainly see this kind of circus old vibe in the attire that she wears she has a little bit of shorter hair as well you know she could be in the performance arts of course that is inherent to the circus and so yeah it certainly draws the eye very classy aesthetic for sure and we also see her smoking so or I believe she's smoking. We see this right here. It looks like a, a small cigarette or cigar or something like that. But that does give this sense of grace within the work at hand. She kind of leans forward slightly, right? And she uh, puts her hand up to the subject's chin, almost as if she's going to kiss him, but she's kind of stealing his soul, right? So there is this kind of classy, this kind of grace to the work at hand. And I think that does that very well. It's almost always in performance arts, whether you're moving very wispy and casually, you know, there is that kind of vibe that I get from this work at hand so there is this sense of the classy horror of course it is quite unsettling this isn't going to be something that you look at and be like oh yeah 
Um, that's not a little creepy. <laughs> of course, it's not terrifying. It's not dark. It is just a little bit unsettling because we have what appears to be a soul transferring from one subject to another. So all in all, really classic, kind of slightly unsettling work. But of course, it is really nice, very classy. You know, we have this kind of grace, this elegance within the work at hand. I really, really love this work. It certainly caught my eye. And so like I said, this is from Dolly 2. So this makes this an AI generative art piece. So the artist put it in an original prompt and created the work at hand. This artist normally keeps their props private, so I'm not going to be sharing that today. But certainly some great work coming from the AI generative artist, Ben Scott Pye. So if you all enjoyed, go check out the original artist. Always doing some really good stuff. And like I said, OpenAI, Dolly 2, some amazing, amazing programs coming from that. It really gives you, you know, even the most... Uh, outlandish prompt that you throw into it, it will give you a high definition result. So if you're someone who looks into AI generative art, whether you're in the world already or thinking about getting into AI art, certainly check out Dolly 2, of course, as well as Mid Journey, maybe stepping up to Dolly 2. Dolly 2 is incredibly powerful, really a blessing to be able to study this today. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Like I said, original artist Ben Scott Pye, always doing some really good stuff. If y'all enjoyed this episode, go check out the original artist. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.